Morning, good morning. It's that time, time for a cup of Jojo. Yeah, that's right. I decided to do a little live chatting. Let's just chat. Talk about games. Anything you want to talk about. Doesn't matter. Just going to chat while I play a little bit of a little Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm just opening it up. Checking what I got. Um. I think the wife and I are probably going to play that game tonight again. Uh, Sky. I don't even know what it's called. It's Skyforge. Uh, I had a good time last night. I was just so tired. I uh, I streamed practically all day. It was just so crazy. Uh, so how's everybody doing today? hope everybody's doing, uh, doing good. It's... Uh, it's 11.30 a.m. here. It's morning time. Well, it's still morning. I've been up early this morning. I've had my cup of JoJo this morning already. Uh, <clears throat> been dealing with all kinds of uh, allergies. Uh, it's hot. It's cold. It's uh, all kinds of crazy stuff here. Uh, it's just one of those things that... Uh, we have uh, uh, here it's 77 degrees feels like 81 uh, and then tonight it'll be 63 degrees well as of right now I think it's going to be down to like 54 when it's South Texas you, you, you hang out and you you get one of those things where it's just one of those things where, uh, how do you say it? Uh, uh, weather comes and goes. It'd be cool one one hour, rainy the next hour, sunny the next hour, and then cold the next. We are in March, March 3rd, I believe, March 4th already, I think. Where we at? Uh, March 4th, Friday. Uh, as I say, TGIF back in the days. Now it's doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, we used to say, uh, we used to kind of uh, here, just, you know, if you don't like the weather here in Texas, just stick around. It'll change in a few, in a few minutes or just give it a couple hours and it'll, it'll be to your liking. <clears throat> we've uh, we've had some fun. We had some, we had a pretty good time last night playing. Uh, my wife and I playing uh, uh, a game that she found free. Uh, she's real good at that. Uh, wife and I have been been together for a while now. It's uh, it's the month of March is a very blessed month for us I would say because it's our anniversary uh, March 17th is our anniversary yeah I know it's uh, it's uh, it's St. Patrick's Day we were married on St. Patrick's Day because it was just the day that we picked we really didn't really think about it we ran down to a friend of ours, a judge, and uh, uh, she married us. Uh, we were already here in this house. We were living here. And uh, my son was my best man. <laughs> it was pretty great. Uh, I don't know. It was it was pretty awesome. It was, I feel great about it. I feel pretty darn good. We had a good time. We, uh, we thought about it and, you know, we, we had thought about, you know, what she, you know, I always, always, always joke around and well, you're the one that made me get married to you. She didn't make me do anything. And, uh, it's not that we never had time. We just never made time. I always say that. It's not that we, we, time is, time is always, 
there. We just never make time. Speaking about that, why don't we make time? It's because things get in our way. Things get... We always seem to not have the time to do anything sometimes, you know? But we do have time. I think people that work from home, people that work away from home, people that just work in general, that really put the time in and work in an office and uh, that have set goals, that have uh, how do you you know that have deadlines, they know a lot of times that they can do so many things in 30 minutes in 20 minutes and 15 minutes 45 minutes and increments of 15 20 minutes 10 minutes because if you work that time uh you'd be surprised how many how many people thanks babe uh You'd be surprised how many people will see what you can do with 10 minutes, 15 minutes of that time. In an eight-hour shift, we don't, we don't do half the things we're, we don't do a, a third of the stuff that, we're, that we should be doing. We as human nature would rather find the time to not work during our working hours than to work during that time. Make sense? We all do it. We're all guilty of it. I don't care who you are. Especially the the owners. Ask them where they're at. They're at lunch. Playing golf, so called meetings, uh, visiting with customers. Yeah, that could be potential customers. Most of the time, it's the same customers that have been taking care of, that have already, that are already your customers. Yeah, I understand you gotta, you know, take care of those customers here and there, but if they're already in your in your business, in your pocket, whatever you want to say it, you don't have to, you don't have to deal with them all the time. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, it's one of those things that that uh, that people have to understand. Time is essential for everybody. And we understand that, but we take, we seem as humans as as our nature to take advantage of the time that we do have. It's not until something drastic happens that we said, man, we, we, we didn't have, he or she had so much time, he didn't have enough time. Everybody has the same amount of time. At 24-7, we all have that seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I've heard, I, I've seen and I've heard people talk about how many seconds in a day, how many, uh, you know, many hours in a week, how many hours in, in a month, how many hours in a, in, in, uh, in, in, a, in, in a year, how many seconds in a month, how many seconds in a week. You can calculate it all you want. <clears throat> hey, Dragon, how are you? Thank you for... Thank you for coming in. I appreciate that. But we we can talk about time, and I and like I said, like I was talking about you, you 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 can, you can uh, uh, you can talk about, you know, how many seconds, how many minutes, how many milliseconds. You can we can all talk about how many, how much time we have, and how much time that person had. But it's all the same. 
everybody has the same amount of time that I have, that you have, in one day. There's 24 hours in a day. And it doesn't matter how you slice it. It comes out the same. It doesn't matter. Now what you do with it is different than what I do with it. If I choose to not do anything, then that's my choice. I got nothing to say about that. I got I, I will tell you nothing. I will you know, I mean you do what you want to do with it. Now if you ask me, hey, what should I do today? And I I'll give you some advice. I'll you know, if you're if you're asking me to do something productive, then yeah, I'll I'll give you some advice. I'll I'm not gonna tell you you should do this. You're not my son, you're not my daughter. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. If you don't live under the same roof the the roof that I do, we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna, you know. You know, like like my wife always talks to me, we joke around her, you you don't know me, you don't know my life. We joke around about that. Uh one thing that we do know, we we know each other. We laugh about this because we do know each other and we know each other exactly how how what we talk about how we are I think we know every we, each other's moves and, and what we what we what we're about to say before we even say it you know my wife always talks about it we finish each other's sandwiches you know or <laughs> you know because that's what she says you know it's a movie from a line but I mean, it's a line from a movie, but we laugh about it because we know, I know she's not going to say we finish each other's sentences because I already know her. She's going to come up with that funny thing. We finish each other's sandwiches. Okay, no, we don't. You don't touch my food. Joey doesn't share food. She knows that. I'd rather buy her sandwich than her to eat my sandwich because that's who I am. I will, I, I will buy you food if you want food, but I will not share my food. That's just me. It's not being mean to you to say that if that food is on my plate, that's my food. I will buy you a plate of food. That's my way of sharing food. I will buy you what you want to eat. If you want a double meat hamburger, cheeseburger, whatever, I will buy you that. But do not touch my food. No. But that's who I am. That's who I am. That's I'm not trying to be ugly or anything like that. That's That's just my plate. My time is my way of eating my food, whatever. But anyway, getting back to time, uh, I think we all have it. I mean, not that I think. I know we all have it. It's how we use it. Uh, but time is, an, is a broad subject because we can use it in however however you want to use it. We, we can talk about... Uh, You know, we go on vacation. What, what, what time do you want to go? What, uh, where do you want to go? Uh, how do you want to do? Okay, well, this time we're gonna do this. This time we're gonna do that. That time we're gonna do that. Uh, we talked about last night how we want to use our time in 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 the streaming. Uh, it's so hard because you find so many different games, and we we've talked about this. And streaming, and and we want to we want to play games. We we have great friends out here that that we that that we that we met online, right? By by my wife by eats is streaming online. We have a friend that we and she knows Dragon knows that I'm talking about her because we have played uh, Fortnite with her, and we missed that. So, Itza and I have been talking about that. Now we need to not stop doing that because we enjoy also doing that. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, is it Zion MM16? How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Hello, fun fact. My sanity is dwindling. Oh, okay. Uh... I don't know what to say about that. You're <laughs> Oh my God, Hollow. Jesus. 
Jeez, man, <laughs> Hollow, you are a... You see what I'm saying? I just made my kids an account. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> my sanity. Uh, now I know. Now uh, now I understand, Hollow. Now I understand. Okay. I was. I should have known about the fun fact. I should have. You see what I'm saying? Time is an is is a. Oh my God! I tell you. See what I'm saying? We have met so many crazy friends on on the fun friends. I mean, and I mean that by, in in a great in a in a in, in a wonderful fun fact in a wonderful way. I should have known that fun fact. Uh. Oh, thank, oh, thank you for the follow there, Zion. I appreciate it. I should have known by the name of his name. Anyway, I but... I you did say your, your, your name, I know. I know, it's a unique name. But anyway, like I was talking about with uh, playing Fortnite, we, we were talking about the the time. Each and I want to make a schedule so that we can set our time. It's not that we don't have time, it's that we don't make time. Because we do miss playing Oh, and we miss it a lot, playing with uh, with Dragon. Dragon has become part of our family because since we met her, since she came to watch Eats on stream playing Animal Crossing, we I you know she could hear me in the background talking to her and laughing and and we we're always she was always coming in and she was always talking, you know and. And I, what I enjoyed about her is that she would say things and I would talk back to her. and She was okay with it. And that made it real because she, she, stayed, she stayed real to herself and I stayed real to myself. And I, and I, didn't, have to, I didn't have to change. And I, I don't change. I am who I am. That's, that's, the, that's the one thing that my wife loves about me is that no matter what, and that's another subject I want to touch here in a little bit. And it's it's just one of those things that I am who I am. But I, I'll get to that in a minute. But we want to get into the time frame where we say, okay, we're going to we're gonna play this game. We're going to play this game at this time, this game at this time. What's so good about us, us doing this is that we both do streaming. Whether I stream a Cup of JoJo... You know, chat, or I stream a game. We're still streaming. My wife streams her games, uh, and I join in some of her game. We had a great time last night. She wants to stream that game the night again, so I don't mind doing that. <clears throat> so, and we want to play Fortnite. We want to play, but that's just like a, a game that we, you know, we want to play different games together. But we also want to play Fortnite with our friend. Uh, and then we want to play Animal Crossing together because we haven't streamed that in a, a while. I'm sure my my friends are, my my people are in Animal Crossing are like, where where have you been? Because they will ask you. Uh, but that's beside the point. I mean, I'm just, I'm just talking about making time so that we can see what we're doing. I don't care how old you are. I tell my son, I talk to my son. I have been talking to my son since he was, I mean, I know some things he says he remembers, but I've been talking to him since he was young. I mean, I'm talking two, three years old about life in general. And the reason I do this is because I want him to understand what it's all about growing up. I know he's not going to get everything right away. But I want him to understand what it is going to be like when he goes out there into the world. And I don't want him to not look back and say, well, dad never told me about this or mom never told me about this. But I have been through a lot. I'm a little I'm a lot older than him obviously but I'm a little I'm a little I'm a lot older than Itza too I'm you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm older than Itza so I've been through a lot I've seen a lot so <clears throat> I want to make sure that they under that he understands 
life is not easy when once he once he's goes out there and starts exploring what's going on with everything in general of what what people are like and uh don't be so easy coming on trusting everybody but he's also got to make time for doing things that he wants to do and don't start something and then not finish it you have to make that time to finish things and finish what you started so to speak but you got to make time for it even though you think you don't have time and now he's 16 years old and he's and it started like six seven years ago where he started understanding more because of course this computer age and digital age he's these kids like i said you carry your own encyclopedia with you everywhere you go you carry this knowledge a book of knowledge with you everywhere you go because as soon as you ask something you look it up and you figure out okay hey yeah and even Itza freaks out on him because there's times where she's teaching him during school that it's like she comes into the room I said how did school go and he's like man this man this boy is so amazing he already knew most of this stuff that I'm teaching him but you know we have to go through the you know as the as this video's going on about, you know, history or English or math or whatever subject it is, he already knows about, ancient, you know, ancient Greece, uh, the Romans, the, 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 the uh, China, uh, whatever they're talking about, and science, uh, you know, chemistry, whatever, and it's like, wow, he just, he knows about it. I said, yeah, but look look what's in his hand already. He knows so much about it. After what my kid's mother did, it's been hard for me to trust people. Well, and, and I understand that. It, 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 it's, it's not easy to, to, to trust, but there's still people out there that you, that you can see, you can feel that, that trust. I'm not saying go, you know, all the way through with it, but uh, there there are people that, that 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 you kind of have that mm, okay you're not going to go in all the way but you're going to go in a little bit you know you're like okay i can trust this guy oh i can trust this girl to a point so you kind of just kind of like walk the walk a little bit you know you walk that tight rope and you're kind of like okay okay but i'm not saying go 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 all the way into the but that's that's what life is about. You have to put one foot in front of the other. It's it's uh what's that saying? Uh 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 you know the road the road starts with a single step and you gotta put one step in front of the other and you you have to the hardest I always say this about anything, especially exercising. Oh man, that is the hardest thing. It's the first step. The first step is the hardest thing. And, I, and I'll tell you why. The reason, hey, hi, hi, Diane, how you doing? I'm at work, so uh, wanted to stop by. Thank you for stopping by, Diane. Love you, girl. Love, uh, I appreciate that. This is my other stream. This is one of the streams that I do. It's just chatting. It's a cup of, cup of, uh, it's a cup of Jojo. Uh, it's just uh, Papa Jojo having a cup of Jojo. Uh, uh, just chatting about anything. Uh, right now, I'm chatting about time and about trust, uh, but uh, doing things that we normally don't do out of the comfort zone. But, now, you know, you got a question, you know. Uh, well, I'm not saying to be skeptical, uh, 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 Hollow. What I'm talking about is don't be, just be, be on your, be on your toes. Just, you know, you you got to be aware of your surroundings. You got to be able to, you got to be able to be, you know, just to look around and, and, and be sure that, that, that you're always, that, that you're always looking every way of what, of what you're doing, you know, and. I'll be lurking for a bit. Okay, well, thank you, Diane. I, I appreciate that. Uh, 
you know, and 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 one thing that I've learned in 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 my in my uh, in what I do and what I've done in in the thing is, I've always paid attention to detail. That's one way of saying it. What I mean about paying attention to detail is know your surroundings, know where you're at, know who you're talking to, pay attention to the vibes, pay attention to what people, how people talk to you. Uh, be cautious, you know, uh, agree on being cautious about being trusting. Yeah, about trusting people. It, exactly. Don't, don't be, how do you say that? Uh, you know, skeptical is 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 one way of looking at it, but don't be so obvious about. Well, you know, I I don't trust you. No, you don't want to be like that to everybody because, then you start. People will start scattering away from you, and that's you don't want to show that. That you don't trust any anybody, you just want to be able to say, "Hey, look, I'm a firm person." But at the same time, I gotta get to know you before I I I put all my trust in you. Yes, I'll respect you, but to a point. That's my way of doing it. You know, everybody has their own way. You you have to feel your way through what you you wanna be in be like the assassin. <laughs> <laughs> in Assassin's Creed, well, actually, well, you don't want to, you don't want to kill anybody, but yeah, in in a way to where you want to be, where you're like that person that yeah, I'm a I, I'm a nice guy till I can't you know, till like you know, not to hurt anybody, but you want to just walk away. You don't want to start anything. As much as I want to sometimes, I'd rather walk away from a fight than do anything. Because that's, that my dad always told me, you're more of a man to walk away from an argument or walk away from a fight than do it anyway. Why? Because what do you want that problem for? Just walk away. Just walk away from it, cool down, and just let it go. Easier said than done. I understand. I'm not saying it's not. Believe me, I know. But that comes into everything. I mean, everything kind of goes together in a way. I I know it's kind of like a hard thing to 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 say, but during the years you kind of learn this as you grow older. I didn't understand it. I still kind of don't understand sometimes, but it gets to the point to where you kind of start learning a little bit of it. Well, a lot of it at, at my age. I mean, but you got to, you got to kind of like see it for what it's worth. You got to see it for, sometimes you got to just walk away from it and let it go and keep going. And eventually you're going to find people that are going to be the friends and the people that, that you know are going to be good good to you because they're looking for the same thing you are. Like, But like I said, it's not going to be easy. It took me a while to find Itza, but I found her. It took me a while to find the friends that I found. Yeah, sometimes you may think that you found the right person or, the, or that one friend, but then you find out that it's not an that happens. It has happened to me a lot. But that doesn't mean that it's uh it's something you did wrong. It's just something that we have to learn through that through that I don't know, you wanna call it uh through that experience you have to learn from it and take it inside you and say, Hey, you know what? I've learned this, this, and this, and now I got to take that experience and make sure that I pay attention to that detail and then look around and make sure that everything that I that I, that I I go through life in, 
I add that into it so that way I can keep going and understand what I'm going to, what, what, where I'm going to next and who I'm going to meet next. And it's not going to be perfect because you're not going to, you know, think of, it just becomes instinct after a while. It's experience. You're, 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 you're getting experience. It's like, I guess it's like a, I mean, life is, it's sad, but life is like a game. You're, you're, you're leveling up as you get older. You're leveling up. Uh, and I think it doesn't matter your age. It matters what you've gone through. And I think what you've gone through, like yourself, Hollow, and I'm talking to you, Hollow, what you've gone through is you've gone through hurt. You've gone through people not tr- you not trusting people. You have to turn that around and find a way to make it positive for you. And you have to find the time. Once again, this is where time comes in. It's, you don't use the time for negativity. Use the time and find something positive and make it positive for yourself. We have so much time in our lives that we just, we just don't know how to use it. for the. We, we either don't know or we don't want to. Quit, we focus so much on it, on negative. And I know this because I did this. I did it for, oh, I did it so long that I wasted six, 14 to 15 months on negativity when I went through what I went through on my divorce that it was so bad that I, I wish I would have had that almost a year and a half back and I could have done so much more. But, but I think that's where my levels went up that at that age, I, I, I grew and I, and I, and I learned and I became stronger and I learned how to pay attention to more of how people were. And I grew on my experience of, okay, I got hurt and this is why. And I became a little bit more. I don't know, how do you think I, I became, my armor, I guess you could say, it got stronger. And I learned more. I, I learned that trusting is good, but also, I also learned that I had to not just go and, you know, hey, oh, I'm going to jump in right away. Calm down, relax. Ask, you know, the old saying, ask questions. Hey, so, you know, how did, you know, where did, where are you from? Where, you know, how are you, you know, what's your family, what's your background, whatever. Before I went in and ran right to another woman's arms or whatever, because I was already hurt. I didn't want to get hurt again. So my trust was not, let me trust everybody right away. I had to learn in time, there's that word again, in time that it took when I went through my divorce and, and, and I'm talking, like I said, Hollow, I'm talking to you that you need to look at whatever negative thing happens to you, you have to, and it's easier said than done, but I've already went through this, you have to look for a positive thing. Is it easy? No. Nothing in life is easy that's worth having. That's just facts. I don't care what people say. That is just facts. Everything that's worth having is ne- never comes easy. Never. Never comes easy. Ask a woman that has, had, that has had a child. It's not easy giving birth. I know. My wife tells me that every day. And I understand that. I'm not... I'm not I'm not making, uh, I'm not, not being, uh, 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 how do you say, I'm not being, like, making fun of her or making fun of women or no, no, I'm being realistic. I have seven sisters, and I know that they've been painful. I mean, I know it's painful for them, but there's not a day that goes by that I know that they won't do anything for their kids, and I understand that. But at the same time, 
I know that they went through a lot of pain. But I also know that the dads, like myself, there's nothing I won't do for my for my son or for my daughter or for... Actually, there's nothing I won't do for my wife either. But that's me. And that's me as a husband and as a father. But, you know, that's another thing. But, uh, but like I said... You know, you, you, you have to find the time of what you want to do. And you have to find the time of taking that negativity and making it into a positive uh, reaction. For every action of the reaction. And you have to find that that time and sit down and reflect on what's going on. And then find it. I mean, you you you, you have to do it. Well, you were never going to grow. I needed this talk. Thank you, Joe. Oh, you're welcome, Diane. I mean, you know, I, I, uh, a lot of this talk, I've talked about my, it's, it's experience that I've, that I've had. And, and, and I'm not the only one. I mean, I know that a lot of people have had this. I know a lot of people have, have gone through this, but, this is why I want. I've been wanting to do a chat like this for for a long time, and and of course, Itza calls me the procrastinator, and and she, I laugh with her, and, and I've been doing. I wanted to do this, but my thing is this. There comes a time when you when when, once again, time comes in, and and, and I finally did this. Uh, I I I've done a few of them already, uh, and and thank you, Dragon, for for she's the one, Dragon. Is the one that came up with the name Cup of Jojo because Cup of Jojo means uh, 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 a, a drink of coffee, and I call myself Papa Jojo. Each says because I'm old, but anyway, that's <laughs> a friend of mine called me Cup uh, a Papa Jojo, a fishing buddy of mine. So you know they're a little younger than me, but uh, we all hung out fishing. So that's where the Papa Jojo comes along. So that's why I call myself Papa Jojo. Well, they called me that, so I kept it. But anyway, you're welcome. Uh, uh, I love this name, Papa Jojo, because it's like a refreshing. I mean, for everybody that drinks coffee, some people don't drink coffee, and and I'm cool with that. But for for every beverage you drink to keep you up and keep going. I want this to be something that you take to heart. And Diane, thank you for for keeping me. This keeps me thinking that I am doing something good for you. Uh, Hollow made me think, make me made me realize that one on on one of my chats. Now you're making me feel this way too. I'm glad that I was able to to make you feel this way. Diane, you have, we haven't talked to you in a long time because you, you were one of our, our 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 friends on Animal Crossing that we went to go visit your island too, just like we went to go visit Dragon's Island. And, you know, it's amazing how we met people through here. We haven't met y'all face to face, but I don't know. There's just something there about y'all. And you have to be able to let go of things so that you can grow. That's another reason that we have to be. Remember, for every action to the reaction. And believe me, I have done some bad actions and negative things have come out of it because I was crazy about this one girl and I was crazy. That, and what happened? Nothing. She still left. She never came back. Never wanted me. Always made me feel bad. And I was the stupid one that kept chasing. And I was blah, blah, blah. You know, the old. Let me. And then she's not right for you, Joe. And oh, no, but I love her. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. And came out to be that she was worthless for me. But that's just the way it was. But we're so blind to it. Because we think that our life is over and our world is just shot and but that's okay because we're humans our nature is that we 
we're never going to be anybody without that person. But we are somebody. Remember that. You are somebody. And we have to hold on to who we are because you are you and you have to stay who you are. Why? Because you're beautiful inside and you're... If you don't believe that, nobody can help you. I can give you all the talk you want and I can say all the beautiful things you want to hear. But if you don't believe in yourself, it doesn't matter. Why? Because I had people tell me that I didn't I didn't need this, I didn't need her, I didn't need I didn't I didn't deserve her, I didn't deserve what she did to me, I didn't deserve all this stuff. And it took me almost a year and a half to finally realize I'd wasted, I, man, a year and a half. But I was young, I was stupid, I was ignorant to the fact that I didn't need her. I was so. Oh my God, I was so blind to the fact that I just thought that I wasted all that time. There's that word again, time that I could have done. But hey, I learned. I leveled up and I learned that I could have been so much better, but I became a better person. I became so much better. And I just went along my merry way and I grew stronger and I got my armor stronger. I got my, my, you know, people that have seen my, the Assassin's Creed, the one that my wife plays, the one that I play, or even, uh, it don't matter, Animal Crossing, uh, you can see the, 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 the Call of the Wild, the, even the Fortnite, whatever. You watch whatever game you play. As you level up, you get stronger. When you get stronger, what happens? You 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 get better. You get you get more aggressive because not so much aggressive. Well, yeah, but in those in those games, but you become more aware. You become more uh, 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 dependent on what you know on 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 the game because oh yeah, I I remember this. Oh yeah, I know this. This is life. You become. Where, oh yeah, I met a person like you. Yeah, I remember you. Oh yeah, you I like. You, I, I know how you're. You're a deceiving person. You're this type of person. You, you you can be a good friend. I like, you tell the truth. You People think you're mean because you tell the truth. That's me. I have been told that I'm a mean person because I tell the truth. Well, so be it. Life's hard. Get over it. We all have different things that's going on, but that doesn't mean we have to get be uh, mean to each other. I mean, uh, 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 ugly to each other. But I'm not gonna lie to you, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat all this and oh, but because eventually you're gonna be told exactly what you don't want to hear, but. Wouldn't you rather just, let's just say it now, get it out of the way, and let's start healing. Because why do you want to just put a band-aid over that big old cut that's not ever going to heal? Let's just put the right medicine over it, and let's start healing the right way. Because if you don't stitch that cut up, that bad date's not doing you any good. It's still going to keep opening and it's still going to keep bleeding. Let's stitch it up and in a few weeks, you'll be, a few months, you'll be good to go. It's, it may sound crazy, but in time, it'll start healing. You'll start healing. 
you'll grow stronger and we have that time believe me people time was what's that they always say time is of the essence everybody and so many people say that but time is good for us time is always there for us we're not there for the time why because we want everything yesterday oh there and my wife tells me that all the time she t- oh man i was if you watched the uh, uh, odyssey assassin's creed <laughs> i fought a war over and over and over because i didn't read the small print on my options of why every time every time I would level up the soldiers that I was fighting will level up with me. And I'm just like, that's not fair. Why? This guy was a, a nine and now I'm a I'm a twelve and now he's also a twelve. What is going on here? I didn't understand that. So my wife said, Wait a minute, what's going on? So I was thinking well, you know what? I need to get through this war. I have spent hours, and I'm talking three, four hours fighting the same war, trying to get to the next level. And I spent so much time doing that. My wife said, you know what? Maybe we just go to the easy instead of having the default, which was medium. I said, I don't want to change it. She goes, well, let's go anyway. So we went to the options, and she read that oh look what's happening these guys are level every time you level up they level up i said well that's not fair i'm over here grinding and busting my butt and leveling up and these guys are leveling up with me no the soldiers should stay where they're at that's like you at work being a supervisor and all of a sudden this guy comes in and he's has no school no experience and two days later you working there for 10 years and you're a supervisor, and then he, this guy works for two days, and now he's a supervisor because, well, you met him, now he's a supervisor like you. That's not fair. He hasn't done anything. I told Ito, no, put him back down. So as soon as Ito changed that options button where they stay where they're supposed to be, I went back there, and I beat the heck out of all of them, and I said, there you go. Y'all stay. You need to earn your keep. Where you're at, you need to learn what I know, you need to do what I did, and then you can become the supervisor that I was. So, if you don't like it, that's too bad. And I'm talking about life now. When people learn what you know and bust your their butt like you did, then you can you can they can understand how you can trust them or they can trust you. If they come to you and they say, how come you don't trust me? Hey, it's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I don't know you. It's a two-way thing. And I tell people that all the time. I said, hey, hey, Joe, uh, you don't like me, do you? I said, oh, I didn't say I don't like you. I just, I just don't know you. You know, there's a, we we need we need to understand we need to learn we need to learn from each other i need to get to know you a little bit i don't i don't know who you are i don't know where you're from i don't know what you're like and then through the years i became a decent judge of character and my wife always tells me when we're out shopping or we're out grocery you know we go to walmart we go to different places She'll tell me, who who are you talking to? Ah, I was at the automotive section, and I was talking to a guy. We are talking about cars. and Do you know him? Nah, I don't know him. We just started talking. She goes, is there, anything you, is there anybody you don't know? I said, I don't know. I just start, I'll just start talking to people, and I just start talking to them. But I can tell if there's sometimes I'll talk to somebody, and he, he or she, you know, mostly guys, especially we're not, you know, in different places. I don't go just go up to r- random women and start that. I don't do it. But men, I'll start talking to them. And sometimes they'll just look at you and that I'll know that, hey, okay, I'm not talking to that dude. You know, I'm not. What do you say? I don't know. He just, 
walked away, I guess, you know. But I was an outside salesman, so it's that that helped me a lot. But you you have to create that, be able to be that person that can go talk to somebody. You don't have to be that person, but you have to be that person that pays attention to the details that your your surroundings and be able to, you know, hey, I need to talk to that person. I need to, you know, hey, what's going on? Uh, yeah, okay, I see that. I see what's going on. It's like driving. When you're driving, you have to pay attention to the guy on the side. He's on your blind spot. She's on your blind spot or the one behind you, the one in front of you. You have so many things going on, but your mind can actually do that. So time, you have the time, you have to work at it, but your mind can do that. We just don't use it as much as we think we do. So you have to do that. But like I was telling you, Itza and I want to create that time so we can schedule that time so that we can do that. Do we do that? Not too much. Why? Because we just don't. We don't we don't do too much of that. Uh a lot of times we uh we don't see ourselves where we wanna be. That's another reason. We like to see ourselves you know let me let me put it to this way. Where do you see yourself in five years? You know, you don't have to tell me. Just ask yourself that. If you don't think, where do you see yourself next year or in two years? Our thing in when I was in in, uh, in 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 sales, they used to sit us down. They used to ask us, "Where do you see yourself in five years?" I mean, there was times where I used to tell my sales manager, "I said, dude, I can't even see. I can't even tell you where I see myself in a month." much less than five years. I mean, I was straight up with them. Uh, but then I like got along. Yeah, I, I could say, okay, I'm five years. I'd like to do this, this, and this. And then it got to the point to where I understood, okay. Uh, but you're making yourself a goal. But you plan your work and you work your plan. I think that's the best thing about anything that, that that a person wants to do. But once again, that takes time. You have to find that time. You have to find that time so that you can make the time to do what you want to do. And don't let anybody stop you. The people that want to stop you from doing that are the people that don't really care. Why is that? You know what I mean? Quit listening to the people that want to stop you from doing things that they don't want you to do. I don't know why people do that. If I have friends that want to do stuff, or big boy, sorry, my my son just, how you doing, the neighbor? Good morning. If I have a friend that wants to do something, I encourage that friend, and I ask him or her, hey, is there anything I can do to help you with that? I don't get jealous of him or her. I don't I don't get upset with him or her. I encourage that person. That's the type of friends you want. That's the type of person you want to hang out with. A person that tells you, hey, go get it. Go do it. Make it happen. If you ever see my stream... On the bottom of the of my little stream, I have something. Don't, what's it say? Don't let 
a bad day. Don't let a bad today ruin. Uh, don't don't let a bad yesterday ruin a good today or something like that. And then in the, in the, uh, after that, I say I have it said, make it happen. I've always said make it happen because that's what we need to do. We need to make it happen, but we can't make it happen without time. We can go on and on about time. Exercise, cooking, eating right, uh, being a nurse, being a doctor, being a lawyer, being whatever, whatever profession you you choose. We can do whatever you want. You have to be able to do that. You have to you have to pick it. What's up, Zuski? Come here. Come here, big boy. That was Christian. He was Christian. Talking to my dog. Come here. So don't be that don't be that person that, that's gonna bring down the other person. Be the person that brings that person up. Cause that person wants to be something. Just like you, we're all struggling. We're all trying to find ourselves and we're all trying to find something that we can be good at or we can be something at. Something that we can do for other people. And if we can find that one thing that we're good at, then let us let us help each other get there. Find that find that one thing or two things or whatever, how many ever things that we can help other people. Reason being is because one day we may need that one person to help us do it. Sometimes it's just it's hard to 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 it's hard to with everything going on in this world today. We have to keep we have to, we have to keep together we have to stay together and help each other out as much as we can now focusing on what I was thinking about how people think that I'm I'm me people I'm a person that likes to say what's on my mind a lot not in a bad way but I've had people tell me I'm mean because I'm a very straightforward person I love joking around. I love talking. I love, you know, my son is real good at one-liners. I'm, you know, I throw things back at him and he throws them at me and that's the way we are. Ita does the same thing and Ita, Ita's gotten, I oh, don't believe me, Ita's got a lot better than what she used when she was very, when we first started, when we first met. But one thing Ita learned about me is that she used to tell me when we were first met is that you're so mean. And I'm like, yeah, I get that a lot. And she was like, are you serious? He goes, yeah. She goes, well, you know, I'm just joking. I said, no, no, it's okay. I, I don't mind. I, I understand that. I said, people say I'm mean because I tell the truth. Have I, I've never been, I was always kind of, believe it or not, I used to tell them, believe it or not, I was kind of quiet. And it wasn't quiet because I was kind of scared to tell people what I thought of them because I used I used to get I was when I was younger I was I was smaller I was uh, I didn't grow I didn't get a growth spur and I was I'm not that tall I'm only five ten but I was I didn't get a my my son's over six foot our son is over six foot uh, but I didn't get a growth spur till I was like a sophomore in high school I was like five two. And then I was said, boom, five six, then five eight, and then I'm five ten. When I became when I was a senior in high school, I don't know what happened. They just I was just late bloomer, I guess I don't know. But anyway, I said, but I was always bullied, and I I can't stand that. I hated that. But I had a good friend that always hung out with me, and took care of me. But I could never do anything about different things like that. And I wasn't bullied by one or two people. I was bullied by four or five people at the same time. And I could never they, they didn't, I could never do it. I mean, I did some things, but I was always ganged. But anyway, that's another thing. But 
I just kept going. Well, today, they see me. I don't talk to them. I don't say anything to them. But they don't talk to me. They try to, and I just walk away. But that's me. Because I know what I am now. I know who I am now. And I've told a couple of them to just walk, just leave me alone. And they leave me alone. Anyway. Now I tell them exactly what I think. I told them exactly who I what I think of them, and I, that's just who I am. So I told my wife. I said that's. I told her that story, and I said, so now I tell them how I feel. I say what I mean. Some people think I'm I'm a mean person, but if being truthful is being mean, then I'd rather be that way then not lie to you. If I think that you're doing something bad or you may do something to yourself to hurt yourself, I'm going to tell you. And that's, I don't know, I don't see a lot of y'all face to face, so I don't really, I don't really know. So, but my thing is that some of the friends here that, well, some of the people that I know here, I will talk to them and I will tell them that, but I mean, it's it's one of those things that you have to be s- straightforward to people sometimes, so that you can tell them that you you got to be straightforward. Number one, you got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with who you are, and what you want to be, and who you could be, or who you can be. You can't lie to yourself. You can lie to everybody else, but you can't lie to yourself. It's not a meaning of... I I don't know. It's it's just one of those things. It's a meaning of... I guess, like I said, who you want to be, who you can be, but I guess for me, it's just get tired of not being able to to say what you want to say. There's so much fighting amongst the, the you know, like here, the different parties. Uh, I and, and I don't talk about that stuff too much because I don't like getting into the controversy of that stuff. And I, I can't, I can't stand for friends and families that are fighting so much about that. I just kind of like, wow. So much corruption in so many things that I'm like, wow. And this is what I went into the military for so that people could fight against each other. I thought it was for freedom, but obviously it's not about that. But I, I will say one thing. I think people that are never that's never been in war should never talk about it because they don't know anything about it. That's all I got to say about that. But anyway, if you have if you want to do something for yourself, you need to you need to go and look at yourself in the mirror and say, "Who am I?" What do I want? What do I want to be? And I, and will I take the first step toward that person that I want to be? But the first answer is the first question is who 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 really am I? And then who do I want to be? And then let's take the first step. Once you take that first step. You're on your way to that journey, man. You, we started it. Doesn't matter. I don't care if it's a million miles away. You took that first step. That first step is the most important. I mean, the most important step of your whole life to becoming that person you want to be. Because without that first step. 
you're still in the same place that you were to begin with. If you do not move forward, you do not become anybody. Doesn't matter. Hopefully next time I can participate in this conversation, my job is very hands-on, hands-on, or else I wouldn't have been talking your hero. That's great. <laughs> it sounds good, Diane. I wish, uh, I hope next time you you do that. Uh, I will I will start another one, and I will be here. Uh, hopefully within the next uh, couple of days. I, I, I want to try to do this on the, uh, maybe, like I said, I got to find the time. Not find the time. I, I got to make the time to do this. And I will talk, and that way I can have more input from people. And I that's what I want. I want people to talk more. So that way we can uh, uh, do that. But I, I, I want to I take this time to say, hey, thank you all for coming in. And, and, and y'all be, everybody that, that's in the, in the chat and people that have been coming in and out, I thank you all for listening. Uh, Yes, I really appreciate it. I thank you. Uh, I thank every, everybody. But yes, Diane, please. Uh, I I I I'm glad I'm glad that you I'm, I I know you're working and please don't work so hard. Make that money, girl. I'll I'll send you my email so you can send on uh, uh, my address. I'm just I'm just joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm only joking. Diane, uh, uh we've known her for a while. For those who 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 don't, I mean, she, she knows I'm kidding. Uh, she used to watch Eats uh, on uh, on uh, Animal Crossing, and we used to joke a lot. We used to joke around. We used to laugh, and and she knows I'm kidding with her. But uh, I'm glad that she's uh, she's on Twitch now, and watch. Well, hopefully, can't wait for you to start streaming, so we can uh, so we can start uh, 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 watching you stream. But, like I said, the hardest step is the first step. So, please, ask yourself who you are. Ask yourself where you want to go, who you want to become, and then take that first step. Take the first step and go be somebody. Go be somebody. Go be who you want to be. Because the most important step is that first step. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. She said she missed my humor. Huh? I don't know. Oh, thank you, Diane. I missed you. Missed my humor. I didn't know I was humorous. Uh, but what are you? What are you looking for? Huh? You obviously took it for something. Well, yes, but it's okay when you're done, I'll take it. What happened? No, it, when you're done, I will tell you. It's about the mail. Just when you're done, I will tell you. Oh, okay. Bad? No, well, I oh. just wanted to know, did you get anything from Target when you checked the mail the last time? Yeah, it's on. Okay, but he didn't know what day was the last day, because if not... We're supposed to get something from Target. It didn't come in. I need to report it. Did you get something? What, what are you supposed to get? I didn't get any cards. No, but it was a letter from Target. Yeah. When was, it, when was the last time you took the mail? I don't know. Hold on. As I'm saying, you got something from Target the last time you took Look the mail? Look on the table over there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. She's looking for something from the mail. Oh, it's over here. You just take. I just want to make sure that the day that you, the last day you checked the mail, so I know when if I need to report missing mail or not. Why? Okay. Why? So I can report okay. missing mail or not, because it wasn't when I checked the mail. I was looking to make sure everything. Yes, I get that. And it wasn't nothing. It was just. It was Monday's mail. Okay. None of Monday's mail was in there. Yes, uh, it was, that was the Monday when I went. But you said you didn't know. So. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyway. So. Okay, so anyway. Well, okay. We took care of that. <laughs> she was asking about mail. So. Anyway. So we, we went through uh through all that. So. I missed your humor. Uh, yeah. I missed your humor too. Diane. What humor? He has no humor. 
no humor. No, My wife says I have no humor. I'm just joking. But no, but anyway, I just wanted to, to know that I just want to let y'all know that everybody here needs to understand that time is always there. Even though we say I have no time. Oh, we have time. We just need to make time. Uh but we just you know what we have? Excuses. That's all we have. We all have excuses. Everything that we have in common are excuses. We have excuses for anything and everything. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We have an excuse for anything you want to talk, anything you want. Well, I didn't go to the store because I... Then add on whatever you want to do. I didn't play the game because add on whatever you want to say. I didn't exercise because I didn't do this because of that. I didn't do this because we are a world of excuses. That's all we are. We, if we had, I would say just even a quarter, 25 cents for every excuse we made, we wouldn't have to work. We wouldn't have to do anything. That's, that's just life in, it, in itself. We would, we would all be, we would all be uh, rich. I don't have to be famous to be rich. I don't need to be famous. I don't need to be. And don't get me into these athletes that are, that are crybabies about making millions of dollars and still want more. And for what? So they can be broke after they after they get out of the, uh, a, a playing ball? I don't understand that. Oh, that's a whole other subject too. Oh my God. They make millions of dollars just so they can lose all their, most of them, they, they can lose all their riches and their houses and their cars because their accountants or whoever takes care of the money steals from them because they have no ability to check on their money. Oh, I'll tell you, all that money, and they don't know how to go take a, a class in finance. And I'm not talking about all of them. I'm just talking about most of them. But anyway, like I said, because they don't make time. Everything is time. If we don't make time to do stuff, we're not going to be, we're not going to do anything. Life itself, we only have a certain amount of time. We may think it's a lot of time. I mean, there's people that are what? Uh, people that are watching me are how old? I mean, you know, how old you're in your, from your 20s to your to your 30s? You know, I don't know. I don't know how old y'all are. Uh, I'm 58 years old. By the time I knew it, I got to this age. I'll be 59 in, in May. Wow, 59. Most of y'all are probably thinking, wow, 59, that's, that's old. Yeah, well, guess what? Hopefully y'all get to this age. Because with everything going on, with all the crazy things that people do, some of these people don't even get to this age. They don't. That, that's the sad part. Every, every morning I read the news on, the, on, on my computer out there and I read a baseball player, a football player, a basketball player, a soccer player, a whoever died at 20-something, at 30-something, uh, so-and-so, so this, 30-something. They don't even make it to the 40s. Yeah, they don't. I just, I just find it. Oh my God, I just, 
I just find it unbelievable sometimes that It, it doesn't matter how talented you are. It doesn't matter how famous you are. It doesn't matter how well-known you are. Time is with everybody, and your time will come up whenever it comes up. Diane says 59 years young. 59 years young. I don't know what you're talking about. You her? Are you talking about me? Said 59 years young when you were talking. And I'm still a young. And I'm still a young. You're old. No. You're old, Ita. I'm talking about Ita. Young. Are you talking about me Me being 59 years young there, Diane? I don't think you're that old, Diane, are you? No, oh, that's not you, Diane. you, Diane. Diane, you're like 20. No, I know. She's young. I know you're a youngster. Thank you, Diane. Appreciate that. See what I'm saying? I mean, it, 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 it all, it's all in the eye of the beholder, how you look at yourself. And you know what? See, 27. You see what I'm saying? Okay. It's all on how you look at yourself. And I think that is awesome. What she put down, okay, what Diane put down is awesome because it's how you look at yourself. You know, it's it's a laugh because I always thought oh and and I joke with my wife I know she's younger than me, you know she's a, she's my wife is twenty one years younger than I am. Yeah, baby, that's right. Uh huh, <laughs> that's right. Anyway, and it and it's not it just happened. We're, we're I was in college. I got out of I got out of military. I retired military. I went to college, and she wouldn't leave me alone. And that's the way, and that's the way it goes. You know, she just what? kept bothering me. She wouldn't leave me alone, and I'm, I'm kidding. I'm Excuse joking. Me. I'm kidding. She wouldn't leave me alone. She kept asking me out, and then all that, you know, yeah, you, know, you know how it is, college girls. You know how it is. They see an old man. He must be rich. And I'm not, but she found that out real quick. Anyway, now I'm just kidding. Uh, the story with me and Ita is a uh, is a. Uh, it's a cool story, but, you know, she borrowed a book, never gave it back, so I had to marry her to get it back. She, and anyway, still don't but, have it back. <laughs> that's the way. And I still didn't get it back. Anyway, but, uh, I love hearing her in the background. <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's a, <laughs> she's a trip. She, I, I love my wife. She's, my wife and I have a lot of fun. I mean, people, you know, like Diane said, 59 years young. I think you, it depends how you look at yourself. If you look at yourself in a negative way, you're already losing. Number one thing in your mind has to be positive. Because you you have to you have to keep yourself in a in a in a positive mind. Like I tell you, like I said, look at yourself, look at yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, who are you? What am I going to become? And take that first step. And the reason I say ask yourself who you are is because you you have to know who are you. Who who, who are you? Who I, I look at myself and I say, who are you? Well, my name is Papa Jojo. I'm Jose Ruiz. I am, I am the man. I am number one. I am nobody can be who I am. I am me because I am... The man, I am the one that takes care of my family. I am the man that has what I need and what I want to become who I want to be. So what do I want to become? The best father, the best husband. And I just want to be the fun, loving husband and father that anybody can ever be and the best uncle and the best grandfather and I just want to be the person that can help other people and if that means by chatting or that means by having fun playing games and just talking to people and if I can help one two three people and if I can play Fortnite if I can play Skyforge or I can play Odyssey I can play SnowRunner 
uh, any game and have people watch me and have fun and I joke around with them and I make them laugh, then I'm becoming what I want to become. Because I've already taken the first step. I'm already streaming. I'm already doing my chat, my cup of JoJo. I'm already doing this. So I'm already moving forward. Am I where I want to be? Oh, hell no. I'm not even close to where I want to be. I want to be the king, baby. I But you got to work for it. Not going to be easy. What I say? Anything in life worth having is never easy. Never going to be easy. But, as Diane put it, 59 years young. You know why that's, uh, that is such a good way of looking at it? Because I always joke with Itza. Oh, baby, you're getting old, baby. And then she looks at me, she goes, you're old. I say, yeah, I know. And she gets mad. She don't get mad. She just looks at me, she goes, you're no fun. I said, why? Because you don't need to get mad. I said, yeah, baby, because I know I'm not old. Shoot. I know I'm not old. You know why? Because I am who I am. And I'm not old. I'm like I'm like a bottle of wine. I just get finer as I get as I age. That's the way it goes. But that's how I look at myself. Did I do that when I was no, I used to not look at that. I used to be negative. But because of things that had happened to me in the past. You're talking to a man that has had back surgery. I had the back I had another back surgery at fifty at fifty two. I had soldiers uh, uh, two shoulder surgeries at fifty four, fifty five. I had two heart surgeries just recently at fifty eight. You want somebody that has gone through stuff? Right here. Is it is it scary? Yeah, it's scary. But you gotta be positive. You gotta go. You gotta look them right in the eye and say, "Let's do this. It's gonna go. It's gonna. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be good. It's gonna make it happen. You know why? Because I'm gonna be all right. You're gonna. Be, they're gonna be all right. My kid and my wife are gonna be all right. They're gonna be fine. Of course, positive, you know, be, be realistic. Yeah, there was that little, you know, and I may not have made it out, but I knew they were going to be okay. But you got to be positive. And at my age, I still feel good. Still feel great. Oh, now they want to do knee surgery. Jesus, man, what is it? Why don't we just give me some bionic legs and just... Be like the bionic man. As an old show back in my days. I don't know if any of y'all know about that. But, you know, but, you know, we can make him stronger. Make the $6 million man, you know, then, you know, things like that. But, you, you know, you got to just work at what you want to do. Nothing is going to be handed to you. Unless you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth. And we know how those people are. Well, at least I do. Spoiled. They would think they could get everything they want. And sometimes they need a good pop in the face. And then, then they wake up and say, well, not everything's free. No, not everything. Because we don't get everything. We have to work for stuff. And when you work for it, oh, I feel so much better. Because we take care of things that are that we work hard for. What did my dad used to say about our about our toys? Yep, yeah, look at that toy. We buy it for you, and you leave it all over the all over everywhere. But when you buy something, you take care of it. Oh, why? Because we bought it with our hard earned money. Always a difference when we buy it with our hard hard earned money. Yeah. We make time for it. That's the main thing. When we make time to work hard, time to make our own money, time to take care of our 
of ourselves, time to make ourselves look handsome or beautiful or just time for ourselves. Yeah, even men do that. Even men, you don't have to be uh, a woman to make yourself just feel beautiful and uh, be confident. Men do it too. We have to look, we, we have to be confident. We may not say it. I'll say it. I'm not afraid. There's times I have to, I have to, I have to be confident with myself. I have to look good. You know, there, there's times where I just don't, yeah, man, I don't feel like, I feel like, yeah, I feel down. But you gotta, you know, you gotta get up and you gotta, you know, like, like sometimes I feel like, you know, I gotta, like right now, I gotta, I gotta go trim this beard. I don't like the big old, that, but that's me. I don't like that big old Viking type beard. I, oh, you know, man, but, but that, that's me though. I like the nice trim beard, the nice, you know, edge beard, edge, you know, the, but, once again, that's me. But that's just the way I am. I feel confident. I like that nice haircut, you know, the high and tight. And it's funny because I used to have the long hair back in the days. My son has the long hair now. And I look at him and I say, oh, my God, boy, you have long hair. You know, I laugh at him. I joke with him. You know, but it looks good. I'm glad he likes it. I'm, I'm glad he, you know, I remember those days. Now I could, I can't stand long hair, but that's me. And I, I, my sister asked me the same, and I, asked, and I don't know if y'all are thinking about it, but I don't know why my beard grows gray and my on my top of my head is all black. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. My wife likes it, so I don't know. I told her I was going to color it red. <laughs> oh, red, red, red. I'm just joking. Anyway, maybe, maybe blonde. What do you think? Bleach it blonde? What do you think? Yeah. I will. Anyway, but uh, you got to be confident. You got to be, you know, sometimes us men, that need, we need that confidence too, you know. We're human. But we sometimes have to have that confidence of going out and doing something you know we we just you know whether it's a job interview whether it's a you know going out there and talking to people or going out there just uh uh you know if you're single you're going out there want to go out there to ask a girl to dance or a girl wants to go talk to a guy uh or by you know it doesn't matter doesn't matter your gender. Doesn't matter who you like. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Or to you, whoever you like. You got to grab that confidence. You got to look that. You got to have that beauty. You got to be confident in yourself. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Got to be who you are. I always tell my wife, just be you. I always tell my son, you got to just be you. And I always tell myself. You gotta be just be you. I'm I'm always the type of person that, well, I am now. That you have to be yourself. You know, you can't. I said earlier, you can lie to yourself all you want, but it's good to be truthful to yourself. Yeah, my wife says I'm mean because I'm uh, very, you know. Because I can't handle the truth. Yeah, you see, you can't handle the truth. There she is again. There she is again, Diane. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. <laughs> there she goes again. But, you know, I mean, all, all, all in all, we, we, we have to, you know, bottom line is we have to make time so that we can be, so that... And, so that we can be happy, I think. And happiness doesn't come easy either. I mean, sure, you know, people are part looking at us. Well, sure, you're you're happy because you're married and you have a son and you have a wonderful wife. And but 
we've had our we don't, we've had our, our, our little trials and tribulations and you know our ups and downs. That's not easy either. I mean, you know, she has her frying pan on the side right there. <laughs> she she's ready to <laughs> What do you see? You see what, what I'm saying? Say? She's on the side of no, I'm just I'm just joking. No, she's not. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But you know, but, but but we've had our our ups and downs. I mean, we've it wasn't you know it's gonna be what already. Well, our anniversary is on the seventeenth of this month, and we've been married what twelve. Um, I don't know. Hold on, let me do the math. Feels like two hundred and fifty years, but well, because we've been together longer than we've, we've been, been together married. nineteen. We're gonna be nineteen years together. Lord have mercy. On August, we be will be this August will be nineteen years that we'll be together. Eleven years. We'll be married eleven years. I don't know. See, it's been too long. No, 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 it hasn't. Way too long. Whatever. What? I'm gonna double check. No, we've been living here how long? Since two thousand seven. Yeah. So we've been in this house for. What is this, 2022? For 15 years. Yeah, and we were. 11. Math is, yeah, 11 years. We'll be living, we'll be together, we'll be married 11 years this uh, March 17th. Married 11. We'll be married 11 years, and we've been together for going on August 19th, will be what? 19 years? 19. Or 18 years? 2004. Oh, yeah, 24 minus 20, which is 18 years. It'll be 18 years. Lord have mercy. We've known each other for 19. Yeah, because we met, but we just started. We've known each other for 19 years. It took oh, a, it was a year. Congrats on fiance and I. Anniversary is going to be in July. Oh, oh awesome. congrats. Yeah, 10 years 10 for years you. 10 years for us. Wow. Oh, congrats. Congratulations, Diane. That is awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, and, and, and that takes work. It's not something that you just, oh, well, no, it's been perfect. No. No. I haven't been perfect. Mm-mm. I'm perfect. She's not. <laughs> kidding. Kidding, people. Kidding. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I've had to train her and teach her how to be perfect, but, you know, it's hard. It's hard work. I'm telling you. Time, time, people, time. I'm just kidding. It's, the other way around. I trained it's not. It's him. not. Uh, you see, she trained me. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's uh, it it's not. It's not easy. You know, I'm just joking around here. But, but for real, I mean, it's we've been together. It it's it's been ups and downs. Of course, you know, CJ was born in 2006. Uh. He was a blessing. He was a. Uh, he was awesome. Yeah, it, it, like as she said, it has been a journey, and you know, and you've had your and the, being a journey. It's been ups and downs. You've had excitement. You've had lots of, lots of, uh, memories that have been great. I mean, more of them have been wonderful, obviously, and you've had some downs, and you've had, but you've learned from them. You know, you grow. You you see things through. Through different ways, and you, and 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 you, and you pay more attention to what's going on, and you learn from your from your opposite, and you learn from your from your husband or your wife or your fiance, and you kind of grow with that, and you and you you understand, you learn to understand that the that person, and you, you know, and it's funny because Itza and I. We had a business together. We had a business. We started here at the house in two oh, two thousand seven. Well, actually, we started in, in the other house, yeah. and that went from two thousand. Man, that was like in two thousand four. We started before we even yeah, right after we got together. Yeah, went to two thousand and fifteen, two thousand sixteen, seventeen. Uh, yeah, when I got surgery, uh, January seventh, January eleventh, two thousand seventeen, is when we when we shut it down. 
when I got back surgery. So, no, we shut it down. In, well, we, we still had a little bit, but we shut it down in 2016 in August. So, it was 12 years that we had that, 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 that business. So, yeah, we, we've been through a lot of, you know, digital design. We went to school together. We, we used to do shirts. We did uh, uh, graphic design. We did screen, uh, screen printing. She did, uh, uh, what do you call the little rhinestones. rhinestones? She did all that good stuff. So we 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 we've done a lot. Like you know, like Diane said, it's been a journey. It's been different things that we've done. And then I opened, you know, during that time we went we ended up opening a bait shop. I mean, because we did the shirts for fishing, and I decided to sell. I was such an avid fisherman that I stole. Uh, I started selling a, a fishing shirts and bait and fishing supplies and I remember going out oh my god I remember going out looking for bait and throwing the cast net and I was in I didn't even know but I was in in water where alligators were in and I was like man what in the world is wrong with you but hey that's South Texas when you you know some of it some of the 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 gators are in there now um, I don't even go in that water but that's beside the point, but still, you know, you do what you got to do. You don't think about it. But, you know, that's the way it was. You know, we just do what you have to do, and you go get the bait, you sell it, you freeze it, and you sell it. And we did that for many years. Had a fun time. But it's a journey. It's You go through so many things. You, 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 you go through different things, and then... Then from there, then she worked. Uh, she she, uh, we were still had the the business, and she started working. She worked for over a little over almost what a little over eight years, with the company. Then she got laid off, and we learned from that. And then now here we are. We're streaming together. And now you're having a cup of JoJo with Papa JoJo. With Papa JoJo. Papa JoJo in the morning. Here we go. Here you go. She's singing. She's singing as she always does. But no, I have a... I have a great time. I have a great time, you know, but... But like I said, if you have... If 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 you have a hard time, if you have... If, you're, if your life is not perfect, neither is ours. Don't feel bad. Nobody's life is perfect. And you want to know whose life is not even close to being perfect? Are the rich people. Their life is more miserable than ours. They may not think it is. You may not think it is. But I'm sure it's not. And I know quite a few rich people. Believe me. They have more problems than, than you and I put together. And I tell them straight out too. I said, man, I've never seen, I've never seen somebody have so much bad problems. I said, I thought I had problems, but y'all, man, you have more money than you can do when, than than what you can do with, and you have more problems than I do. I feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for me. I'm rich. I said, yeah, but I'd rather not. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather be who I am and not worry about it because I don't have any problems that you do. I'm okay with that. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand how people have so many, so much money, and yet they have so many problems. There's no love. So much hatred in in in, in most of these uh, relationships that they have. I don't get it. I've been, and I guess it's not meant for me to get. So it doesn't matter. It's a sad world. It's not, no, I'm sorry. The world is not sad. It's the people living in the world that is sad. The, the, the people in the world are sad, not the world. The world is beautiful. The world is made perfect. It's the people in the world that are sad, that are, that, that are evil and ugly and make this planet what it is today because 
I don't know what is wrong with the people, with some of the people. Not all, not everybody. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about most of them. So many things are going on in this world that it's not even, it's not even, it's not even right. But there's nothing we can do about it. Well, what can we do about it? So much hate. So much hate. And everybody has, every politician has a fixer-upper. And none of them do a damn thing about it. But anyway, there's nothing, I can't say anything good about any politician. I don't care what side you're at. All they want is money. All they believe is, is how to fill their pockets. And if you think they care about you, uh, anyway. But anyway, just like I said, be positive about yourself. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Be good to yourself. And look around. Be alert. Pay attention to detail. And look to see what's going on with everything that's that's happening. Please, please follow your dreams and become who you want to become. But the number one thing, make time and take the first step. Make time, take the first step. Grab that mirror, go to the restroom, go whatever, take a mirror, take your, I don't care. Look into that mirror. Ask yourself, who am I? What do I want to become? And take the first step. Take that step. Go forward. Become who you want to become. Write it down. Just plan your work and work your plan. It is it simple? Nah. Say it over and over again. Anything in life that's that is nothing that's great is that it's gonna be that simple. That nothing nothing that 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 you work for is that easy. It's not going to be easy. Nothing. Nothing. Everything you want in life is never easy. Never. It's never easy. Whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just pick something. Write every single goal you ever wanted. And do it one at a time. If you've ever played a game and there's always these little missions, you don't do five, six missions at one time. You go do one mission at a time. That means you go and walk and put it down as a goal and do that one goal at a time. If you want to write it down as missions, then write it down as missions. But it's one goal at a time. Feed the cat. Feed the dog. Wash clothes. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, wash your car, whatever. Then I fed the cat, fed the dog, washed my clothes, uh, bought groceries, washed the car, cut the grass. And you do it one at a time. I got that one done, got that one done, got that one done, got that one done, got that one done. That's a goal. What is your goal for today? I'm going to go look in the mirror. I'm going to ask myself what I want to become. And I'm going to take the first step. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to look at myself. I'm going to go to the mirror. Ask myself who I am. I'm going to ask myself what I want to become. And then I'm going to take the first step. That's four missions right there. One, two, three, four. 
for. Go do that. That's your mission for that's could be start off right there. Just to start off. Then you can go from there. If you want to lose weight, I want to lose weight. How do I want to lose weight? You know, you find a problem, you figure out the solution, and then you go do it. I want to lose weight. Okay. Let's say that's that's my problem. I want to lose weight. What's my solution? I want to I'm going to go walk. Okay, well, I have a problem because my knees messed up. Okay, fine. We don't have to walk that much, but we can walk at least 50 minutes a day. Okay, well, I don't want to walk too far from the house, so I'm going to go walk in the backyard. Okay, fine. Just in case I fall down and I'm in the backyard, my wife can go check up on me and she'll have to drag me while my son can pick me up. He's, he's over six foot two. But, you know, but still, I'm in the backyard. That Those are, those are pros and cons. That's the... Uh, but quit making excuses. I still want to lose weight. I need to go walk. I need to walk for at least 20 minutes a day. Okay, cool. I need to walk for 20 minutes a day. Okay, I need to walk 20 minutes a day. I'm going to go to the backyard. Okay, so that's the problem with I want to lose weight. And I can't really go walk outside. I can't go too far away in the neighborhood. Because if I fall down, nobody will find me. But I can go to the backyard. Okay, that's problem solved. What's that? The solution is to go to the backyard. Okay, that's my solution. So that was my goal was to lose weight. So I'm going to knock that out. Now I'm going to go to the backyard. And that's the actual, you know, that's the number one thing that I'm going to do. So the, that's the actual goal is to s start. I got to move forward. So I'm going to go walk at least tw okay, 20 minutes a day. So I'm gonna take my stop my 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 phone. I'm gonna walk twenty minutes for that day, and I'm just gonna walk around the 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 backyard for twenty minutes. Okay, boom. I'm gonna go outside and do that. Twenty minutes. But I'm gonna make sure that my wife looks outside every you know five minutes, and I'm still okay. Okay. So if I do that for 20 minutes a day, I've taken care of my exercise goal so that I can do that. There you go. That's an example. Actually, that's a great idea, to be honest with you. But there you go. You see what I'm saying? It's just making the time. I'm just lazy. That's what I am. I admit it. I'm just lazy. I just... Then, I want to do different things. I want to go do different things. I want to, you know, do... Uh, uh, you see, it's like my wife tells me. Oh, you can find time to go fishing, but you don't have time to watch a movie with me. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Then what movie you want to watch? Well, I want to watch a Hallmark movie. Uh, I don't watch nothing with you no more. Uh, I want to go fishing. Well, you need to watch... Uh, but it's, you see... It's a give and take, people. It's a give and take. I'll give her the time to watch a Hallmark movie, and I'll give myself time to go fishing. See what I'm saying? I'm kidding. I I I know how it is to go, and I love fishing. I love hunting, but I we do watch a lot of movies together. But it's one of those things that you have to you have to balance it out, you know. So we. We do that a lot. But my thing is that you have to find yourself your own balance and your own way of doing it. But you got to keep the positivity in what you do. Whether it's at work, whether it's at home, whether it's uh, at playing sports, uh, streaming, uh, talking to your kids, uh, discipline them, uh, I talk to my son every, almost every day about different things in life. I read, every morning I read the, the news, uh, is it positive a lot of times? No, the news is very negative. I, 
I know that. But I get to, I'm able to go to my son and tell him what's going on, especially local news. And I've been doing this since he was four or five years old because I want him to understand that there's things that kids do and there's things that happen to these kids when they don't listen to their parents. And it's drastic things. We here in South Texas where we live at have canales, canals that have water in them. And those canals, they when it, when it, when it rains... They, they, they fill up with, 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 with so much water and they have, they have so much debris in it that it has the, the, the bars, but the water drains, it drains out into the, into the mouth of the, of, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the actual, uh, gulf. But it drains out, but those bars stop all that big debris from going in there. So then they scoop it up and throw it away. But it it opens and it has a strong current. But it sucks you in. That sometimes, and it's so sad, that these kids, they play in there. And some of them push these kids in there. And they've been, it's been where they, where... And it's so sad that these kids are playing and they they play with each other. They fight and then they push one in there or two of them get caught in there. And then the current takes them and it drowns them up against these bars because their current is so strong. Not even a person like me that weighs 240 pounds can get out of that current. And that those bars are so strong that this pops the kid up against them like that. So when my son was like six or seven, so about six years old, I showed him on, on that and I told him about that. And I told him, this is why when you're coming back home from school, when you're in seventh grade, when you became old enough to walk home from school, you do not go by those canals and play around with these kids because if you fall down into those, that's what happens. That's why you talk to these kids and you talk to your, as, as a parent, you talk to them in a way like an adult so that they can understand it. Just because they're five, six, seven years old doesn't mean that they don't understand. Believe me, kids understand more than what you give them credit for. So give them that credit so that they can understand that. It's a positive thing for them. And it's a positive thing for you, so they can understand that. Yes, is it ugly to talk about death? Of course it is. But it's a reality in in the household that you need to talk about this. Don't shelter your kids so much shelter that when they go out into the real world, that they, that they don't know anything about about it, about the real world, they got to know this. Yeah, they may look at it on Facebook or on on, on I mean on on other things, but you don't want to do that. They may look at it on Twitch. They may look on. You don't want to do that. You need. They need to look at everything. They need to understand it. So be honest and be. Is it is it a positive thing to talk about stuff like that? Maybe not for you. Maybe not for other people. But seriously. You need to speak to your children about what's going on in real life because they're going to grow up. And if you, as a parent, aren't there to teach them, who else is going to teach them? That's our responsibility. So please talk to them. That's a, to me, that's a positive way of being a parent. You may not think it is or you may not think I'm, I'm doing the right thing but for me I think it, my son is 16 years old now and he knows so much more than what other kids know at his age and I'm not saying he's not perfect no he's not but he does know the right from wrong can he still get him brought in trouble yeah yeah he's 16 years old who am I kidding any kid can get in trouble. Yeah, at 25 years old, we can still get in trouble. doesn't matter. 
We're still stupid at that age. It doesn't matter. And I'm talking that we can still have those kids that have the other friends that can still get in trouble. But hopefully, hopefully, he can realize that this is not the right thing to do. My dad told me at 16, there's a why on the road now. You're becoming a young man. There's a right thing and a wrong thing. You pick the road you choose. If you pick the right thing, you're going to come off the tracks every once in a while. But you can still get on it and you'll be okay. If you pick the wrong road, you're going to come off the track, but you're going to prison or you're going to find death. There is no hope for you if you pick the wrong way. You're not coming out of it. And my dad was straight up. You go to prison is because you deserved it. I'm not there to help you. I'm not there to make you go to your decisions that you made. I helped you make a decision and you decided to make your decision the wrong way. So if you pick the road that made you make bad decisions, I didn't help you make that. You decided that. I help you make a right decision, but you decided to go the wrong way because you thought that was your right. You have every right to do what you want, but remember, the wrong road doesn't have, it's all pain and suffering, and you probably will never come back from it. Some do, but the majority of them don't. So, when you go to this road, or you go to prison, or you go to death, it's not. It's on you. You're the one that made the decision. And I never forgot that. So, I decided, I'll go on this path, I'll fall off every once in a while. And I did. I did stupid things every once in a while. I didn't do like, ignore, you know, crazy, crazy, you know. But, I did, I did, I was okay. So I got off and I became the man who I am today. I went to the army and I retired. But I had my ups and downs. But that's life. But I learned. Now I'm trying to teach my son what I went through. So that's that's what I'm trying to say. Teach them while they're young so they can understand. Be positive about that. Don't yell at them. Don't, don't curse at them. Don't it. Just be straight up with them. Be truthful to them. Tell them what the world is like. Tell them your experience. I'm not saying that, that that's what they'll experience, but they'll understand. Oh, my dad. I remember my dad saying this about it. I remember my dad saying this. I remember my mom telling me this. I remember my dad telling me about that. I remember mom saying, at least they understand. At least they can get a grip of some reality that oh yeah I remember that I remember this I remember and then they'll go through their own uh, experience of what they can do but at least they'll pay attention to the details of what we had and then what they are going to go through that's all I'm saying be positive make time for it and then go along and be yourself and take the first step. Remember, find a mirror. Ask yourself, who are you? Who do you want to become? Take the first step. This is Papa Jojo. Cup of Jojo in the morning. Hey, cup of, you got to have that cup of Jojo. It's refreshing. Listen, it's been a great day. It's been a great morning. Uh, I know it's probably been a couple hours, I think. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how to tell who you're doing. Uh, it's already 1130. Uh, yeah. I should tell you here. Yeah, that's okay. I have had a great talk. I could talk all day, but and I love talking. But, you know, uh, I know I've just started this. It's only been a few times that I've done a cup of JoJo. Thanks to my lovely girl. I love her, Dragon. She knows that we love her. She knows I love her. She is a sweetheart. Diane, thank you for uh, 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 what? What'd you put down? I was trying to see if that would um, tell me. Oh no! But it didn't work. 
Diane, thank you for 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 coming up. Zion, thank you for uh, for giving me the uh, the follow. Hollow, thank you for coming in. Everybody that was that was watching, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for chat. Thank you for the chat. I appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you for having a cup of JoJo with me. Next time, I, you know what? Next time, I will drink a cup of JoJo. Uh, if when y'all see my cup, y'all gonna freak out. I hate it. It's uh, gigantic. If there's anything that y'all. Oh, thank you, Diane. I really like that. I, I, uh, I hope I helped out. If if I helped out anybody, I hope I, I, I was, I was straight up and I was, I helped y'all. Uh, Diane, I'm glad that I that I was able to, to help you out today. I it makes me it makes my heart, just feel good. If there's anything, you can always text me. You can always text Itza. Uh. You know we're always here for you, girl. You, we have missed you. We were so happy. I was told Ita last night after we got off. I was so happy to hear from you. It was like wow, uh, a blast from the past, so to speak. Oh, girl. You know, I'm here for you, girl. I'm here for you. You just let me know and. I'm always here, and you know I'm 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 always here to try to help people out, and especially, especially you, Diane, especially people like you. You know I I, I don't mind. Uh, I don't know, man. I just I just been feeling that I needed to do this chat, and uh, the last few times I've I've I think I've helped a, a couple people, so uh, I don't know. I just feel good. I just I it makes me feel good to hear that. So I'm glad that I that I was here for you and uh, makes me feel good. Y'all are here for me too. So this is very therapeutic for me and it helps me go through, you know, helps me just help y'all and, you know, but I just, I just had to make time, had to make time. And I did. And I'm glad I did, but cup of Jojo. Well, I appreciate y'all coming in and, uh, I will see you on the next talk, and I I'm gonna make a like I said I'm gonna make more time for this because I know I have more time even if it's just a couple hours a day. Y'all have anything y'all want to talk about? Just uh uh uh, uh y'all can message me, let me know y'all want to y'all want to know anything you know you want to talk about anything. Uh, I'm gonna just start putting whatever uh whatever I read on the news. Not not whatever I don't like talking about politics and uh religion sometimes most of the time so just anything positive i don't know we talk about games talk about life in general but have a wonderful day you too you you too diane take care don't work too hard girl make all that money take care we love you take care of yourself everybody y'all have a great day this is papa jojo and you know what that means it's the Zoom time, Zoom time, Zoom time. Woohoo! Anyway, y'all take care of yourself. Love y'all. Have a good day. This is Papa Jojo, and uh, lots of love bye. and kisses. Peace out. My wife says, bye, as always. Bye. She never changes, that woman. Anyway, y'all take care of yourselves. We love y'all. And this is Papa Jojo saying, I am out of here.